One of the nuances in, within the gameplay is the better you perform, the more wingmen you earn, and you can earn up to three wingmen. Um, the longer that you have the wingmen, the more experienced they actually become. You've got to be really careful when you're playing the game as well, not to kind of like be gung-ho with your wingmen, because you do care about these guys, you know? The moment you lose them, they're gone, and they're gone for the game. So you need to make sure you actually protect them. When you earn them, like, they are your buddy, and if you lose them, you, you do feel gutted. So there's an interesting dynamic there, and that reflects back into the original Battlestar series, which was all about people, and people and personal relationships deep within space. All hands go to jump stations and stand by for light velocity. Sensors are reading Cylon heavy tankers at extreme range. Prepare to intercept and engage. One of the cool things about the game that all gamers are going to enjoy is the depth within the gameplay. You change your, um, your weapons on the fly, so you can reconfigure them as you're actually flying. If you're mid-battle, you can, you can change things. Most games, you set up the number of lasers and missiles and things that you want, and that's it, off you go and play. So it's very dynamic. It reacts to how you actually want to play the game. We tried to stick technology-wise to the original series, as in we stuck to the, the delays of missiles rather than um, stepping into weird energy weapons. We're really trying to, to keep that, uh, that basic core element of, of essentially simple combat rather than uh, going into very high-tech arenas. One of the coolest parts of our game, considering that uh, Battlestar was always based around playing as colonials, um, or being a colonial, um, you get to fly a sound on radar. That's got a different feel, and the, the way that you play that mission as a Cylon Raider, let's say it's really, really tense, really, really scary. 